Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Got a fun one today. We're going to learn how to play Children of the Grave by Black Sabbath. So first things first, we are tuned down a minor third. Sorry about that. But, you know, I, like, I would teach it in standard, but a lot of you guys hate it when I do that. So we're going to go for the original key today. Um, and we'll try to keep it in tune. I got a floating trim system here. So needless to say, my guitar is not in love with this tuning, but... Um, I'm gonna write the notes out. If you don't, if you guys aren't good with your intervals, uh, what each string will be uh, tuned to in the description of the video. So, um, hope you have a chromatic tuner and you can get in tune here. All the strings are tuned down though, the same distance, a minor third. So all your the same chord shapes, they all work the same. Um, but it sounds really cool though. Anyway, so let's start here. We have a, a few really cool riffs and some cool rhythms to do here. Um, and, and I'm going to take care of all those in this video and then the next video we're going to take a look at Tony Iommi's solo and that little outro solo he does as well. Alright, so it's going to be a couple videos for this one. So let's start here. We're going to start with the main riff, which it kind of starts with really a bass intro, but you can play it on just a single string too. Why should he have all the fun? So, um, but then when the guitar is really kick in, it's really the same rhythm. And it sounds like this. All right, so let's take a look at that actual rhythm. It's two eighth notes uh, kind of played in a shuffle feel. And so it's like. All right, so it's kind of an eighth note shuffle followed by a triplet. So. Now, when I get going with the riff, the most natural way for me to play it is this first two notes to do them with upstrokes. And then the triplet just down, up, down. Up, up, down, up, down. Up, up, down, up, down. So let's just practice that. So that's the main rhythm of the song. So you got to really get that vibe down first. Now how he's playing it in, uh, when he comes in with the guitar is he actually is playing the note on the seventh fret of the A string as well. It's obviously not an A string anymore, but I'm going to call it an A string. So we're going to, when he hits the two notes, the two upstrokes, that's just the bottom low E string. And then when he does the, the triplet, pick across both the sixth and fifth string. And then he follows it with these two chords. When he finally gets to that part where he starts adding the chords. Eighth fret, power chord, off the low E string, and then the seventh. He likes, Tony Alba loves doing his power chords just basically off of the, um, the low E string. So sometimes you'll see people play these riffs like, a, but he's, he instead, he likes to take his power chords and just move them up really high on the, on the low E string. So that's what he's doing for this song as well, if you watch him play it live. So that's how we're going to do it. So we have that main riff. And then it goes into what I'm calling kind of a transition riff that they, he does a lot. Um, now, he, it sounds like this. Back into the main riff. Now, the first time he plays this transition riff, well, before the vocals come in, he plays it twice. And so both of these times before the vocals come in, he starts it by sliding up, just, just straight power chords, starting at the 10th fret, slide into the 12th. Hold that, and up to the 15th. 
then down to eight. Play that a couple more times, and then back to ten. Back to the main riff again, and then we go back into that transition riff once again, starting with a slide into the twelfth fret. Now, I made a point of uh, bringing out the fact that he's sliding into that 12, that first chord. Because every time you see that riff for the rest of the song, he doesn't really slide into the 12. He just plays it, plays the 12 right? instead of sliding into it. And the rest of the riff is the same. All right, so just you, you're not going to, you can really, he makes those slides a point of it before the vocals come in for the first time in the song. And after that, you won't hear it too much. All right, so after that, we have. The transition riff um, with this slides and, and then the main verse, uh, which has a guitar overdub in it. Um, but what Tony Iommi usually does live is this. All right, so there's obviously a. Uh, a unison bend in there too uh, that's played by a second guitar on the recording. Let me show you that unison bend real quick. 15th fret on the high E string, then the 18th fret on the B. You're going to play those two notes and bend the note on the B string up a whole step till it matches the top note. Uh, but uh, he doesn't do it that way live. Um, so you could play that part if you want, or you can come down here and do, do what he does. Just the power chord as a third fret in the low E string. And obviously, the, the rhythm now is just all on the low E string. You don't, you're not jumping back and forth. Now you can see when I do this rhythm, by the way, when I first play it, I go down, up, and then down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. up. Just works out better with the picking when you're coming off of that triplet just to do both upstrokes for me. But the first time I played those two little eighth note shuffle notes, if you're slowing this video down, you'll see me always start with a downstroke, but after that it'll be two upstrokes there. All right, enough of the details. All right, so now we get to the, there's like a, a, a bridge section right before the interlude, and it's got a really cool fast riff in it, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Into the interlude, which we'll take a look at in a second. All right, so you might want to palm mute this a little bit to kind of tighten up the strings and make the notes pop out. So it starts with zero three on the low E string, over to. Zero one zero one on the uh, A string. And then two on the A over to two on the D. Those two notes he lets ring together. Kind of ring together. So you've heard that in the recording. So we have this. Alright, now we start the next riff, kind of the same. So that's just zero, 03 in the low E string. Then zero, 01, 2 on the A, over to 2 on the D, then 1, 0. Those are held a little longer. So we have this together. Then you repeat all that. So it's a little tricky at first, but since you get the, just kind of the muscle memory of it, it's, it's pretty fun to play. All right, then we have this interlude section, uh, which is really the last section to learn. And all the riffs that continue, you know, it's just stuff that we've already learned. Um, and it sounds like this, so it's pretty doom and gloom. All
All right, so once again, all power chords off the sixth string, starting at the 12th fret, then 15, 12, then 7, 6. One more time. And then you're just gonna play six slide to seven, and then nine slide to 10. Power chords, that is, so we have this. Then we basically start over, 12, 15, 12, except now this second ending is gonna go 10, nine instead of seven, six. Then just hit nine and 10 again and you start the whole thing over there. So we have this all together. Repeat. So stay tuned for the next video. We're going to take a look at Tony Iommi's uh, solo with this. It's got some really tricky stuff in it, and it's really fun to play, though. So I'll see you there.